Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can pull your car's data into Home Assistant and display it in a nice dashboard. There is an official add-on in Home Assistant called Torque that reads data from OBD2 adapters that plug into your car. However, this add-on doesn't seem to work and I have not seen an official fix in place. That being said, there's a workaround that I found online that I want to show you how you can use to pull this data with no issues. This method is not original with me, so I'll leave a link to the guy's blog who came up with it, and he has some detailed instructions. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to do in order to use this workaround. Before we get into this video, I just want to say if you like this video at the end, please hit the like button and subscribe. We just hit 100 subscribers, and it doesn't seem like a lot, but to me it's huge. And I uh, really appreciate it if you would do that if you want to see more content like this. Just the tip of the iceberg here in terms of what we can cover as far as Home Assistant and other automations. So please subscribe. Uh, without further ado, let's get back into the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is an OBD2 dongle. OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics. Now, it's a little uh, plug-in that plugs into the OBD2 port of your car and reads the information that is sent by your engine control unit, your ECU. You'll need a Bluetooth OBD2 reader that works with Android. I bought this one on Amazon for 20 bucks and it's worked with no problem for a couple of years. And if you're using this video as a guide, then pick this one and you won't go wrong. Next, you need to get the Torque OBD2 app from the Google Play Store. Open the app and set up your vehicle profile if you haven't done it already. Go through and input the correct settings in the profile. These settings will affect the calculated values that Torque logs. For example, make sure you fill your tank all the way and then set the fuel level to 100% to have accurate fuel readings. You'll have to figure out how to connect the reader to the Torque app on your own, but it's easy if you bought the one I have. Next, go to settings and then go to data logging and upload and click the select what to log option. Click the three dots in the upper right of the next screen and then click select what to log again. Here you can choose all the different data that you want Torque to record in the log file. There is a huge list of stuff and it will show in green all the data that is currently available to you. However, if you do this while not connected to your OBD2 reader or you're connected but the reader is not plugged into the car, you won't see very many that are available. Select the ones you want and then go back to the previous menu. You may find later on that some of the ones you select won't be logged because that's not something your ECU actually outputs. Next, in the settings menu, make sure synchronous file logging is unchecked and set the file logging interval to 5 seconds. Make sure log when torque is started is checked and only when OBD is connected should be checked as well. You can also check automatically log GPS to have the GPS data from your phone logged with the rest of the data. Uncheck rotate log files if it is checked. Next, go back and then click dash installation settings and check start torque on reboot. Now you're done with the torque app and we can move on to the next part. Next, you'll need to create a long-lived access token in Home Assistant. In the Home Assistant app or on PC, click your profile icon and then scroll all the way to the bottom. In the long-lived access token section, click create token and then type in a name for it like Torque. Copy the token as instructed and save it somewhere like Google Keep because you'll need that later. The next thing you need is an app called Automate by Llama Lab that allows you to run automation scripts on your Android phone. Go to the Google Play Store and install that, and once it's installed, open it. Click the hamburger menu in the top left corner and click the community option to search the community made automations. Type in car telemetry into the search box and you'll find this automation by Robert Cunningham. This guy is a legend. Anyway, download that and once you do, open it. 
when you click start for the first time it's going to ask you for some information it'll ask you for the name of the car put in a single word no caps like I did with my truck I called it Silverado next it's gonna ask for the domain name of your home assistant instance in this case you're gonna to want to put in whatever that domain name is like your duck DNS domain name whatever it is you're gonna type that in and make sure you don't put a slash at the end okay so next it's gonna ask you for your long-lived access token what you're gonna put in here is the word bearer b-e-a-r-e-r -E -R, space and then you're gonna paste in that token that you copied when you created it in Home Assistant. Finally, it's gonna ask for the frequency of measurement. You can just put in 10 here and click OK. It's going to ask you to confirm that all the information you put in is correct. And once you click confirm, your automation is set up. It automatically opens the Torque app, which is what's gonna happen every time you run this automation because that's where it's gonna get the data from. You can close the Torque app for now, and we're going to go back over to Home Assistant. What we're doing now is adding this Torque data as a sensor in Home Assistant. This is a lot easier to do on PC than on the Android app. Instead of adding my sensors directly to the configuration.yaml, I add mine to sensors.yaml and then include that in my config file. You can do it however you want. Add the code I've displayed on the screen in your config and home assistant, but anywhere that I've put Silverado, you need to put the name of your car, specifically the name that you used when you were setting up the Llama Lab Automate script. Save this configuration file and then restart home assistant to see the sensor appear in home assistant. This configuration will add a sensor to home assistant called Silverado Torque, or in your case, whatever you named your car. The, the attributes of this sensor will be all the different data that you told Torque to log. It could be quite a list. No data will appear in Home Assistant though until you connect to the Bluetooth OBD2 reader and run the Llama Lab automation. All right, so let's test it out. If you haven't already, plug your OBD2 reader into your car's OBD port and then on your phone, Open the Llama Lab Automate app. Open the script you just set up and click start. And then go ahead and start your car and wait for your phone to connect to your OBD2 adapter. Once it's connected, click real time information. Not exactly sure why you have to click this, but once you do, there'll be a few second delay and then the Torque app is gonna close. You're now ready to begin logging. To confirm that the script is working, you can open the script and look at the log and it should be displaying messages showing that it is successfully sending data to Home Assistant. Now, it would be ideal to have these different attributes split out into different sensors in Home Assistant so they can be tracked separately and you can plot them separately, etc. To do this, we're going to create some template sensors using the attributes of this new sensor we just created. What you'll do is take the exact text of the attribute and you're going to take that text and you're going to put it into this template sensor. Again, wherever I've put Silverado, you could put the name of your car. So what you're going to end up with is a big list of attribute sensors or template sensors based on that original sensor you created. I wouldn't break all the attributes out into sensors until you know the data's coming in the way you want, but after that, just go nuts. So that's really it as far as getting the data into Home Assistant. Now you can plot that data, do whatever you want with it. You definitely wanna make sure that you've put your information of your vehicle profile and torque in correctly. Otherwise, miles per gallon and all that stuff will be off. The last thing I wanted to show you was how to trigger this automation with an NFC tag. You really wanna make this as hands off as possible so it's as simple as getting into your vehicle and beginning to drive. For this part, you'll need an NFC tag which you can buy on Amazon. I can recommend some. 
and you will need the Tasker app. In the Tasker app, hit the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner and then click event in the drop down menu that appears. In the bottom, there is a filter box into which you will type NFC. Click the NFC tag option that appears. Now it will ask you for the ID and content of the tag. Click the search icon by the ID box and then you'll be prompted to scan your tag. Scan your tag and keep the tag close to the phone. If it's a new tag, it may give you a message saying that your tag is not formatted. Click yes and it should write task or test to your tag. Next, click the search icon next to the content box and scan your tag again when prompted. It should write task or test in the content box. Next, press the back arrow and now you'll be prompted to create a new task that will be triggered by this NFC tag. You can type a name for the task if you want and then click the check mark. Now in the task edit screen, click the plus icon in the bottom right and then click the app option in the menu that appears. In the next menu, click shortcut and then in the next screen after that, click the search icon next to the shortcut box. In the shortcut menu that appears, click automate flow shortcut and then select the car telemetry to home assistant flow that we set up earlier. And then click start. Choose any icon that you want and then click OK. Now we should test this action. So press the back arrow in the top left and then in the bottom left of the task edit screen, click the play arrow. This will start the automate script, which will in turn start the torque app. Now close the torque app and stop the automate flow. Now you can test this by scanning your NFC tag and seeing if it opens the automate script and then opens the torque app. All right guys, well that's really all I have for you. I'll leave it to you to figure out how to plot the data and how to use it to create cool automations. If you do implement this and do some cool stuff with the data or if you have any questions, please leave a comment or hit me up on social media, links in the description. I would love to see what you guys do with the data. Specifically, I'm looking to make an oil change alert in Home Assistant. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and like this video if you like what you saw. And we'll see ya.